<laughs> Despite what its name might imply, Oktoberfest actually starts before October, tomorrow. So to celebrate, we thought we'd show you a place where you can get authentic German food. That's, a re that's right. It's a restaurant that has been around for 90 years. So you know it has to be good. Michelle Oliver takes us to Ann Arbor to dine in the D at Metzger's. Metzger's? Yes, Metzger's. Metzger's. Wow. Sure, this place has delicious German beer, but we've come here for their authentic German food and decor. We're at Metzger's, a longtime German establishment that's been in the same family, his family, since 1928. My grandfather came over in 1922. He came by himself and he started working at a local bakery in Ann Arbor. A couple lost their lease or wanted to move back to Germany, so my grandfather and his wife, Marie, and his partner, Christian Kuhn, started a restaurant on the corner of West Washington and Ashley in the, in the 1928. Now, they're located on Zeeb Road in Ann Arbor, but it's still very much a family business. My family all worked here. My, my parents both worked here. My brothers and sisters all worked here and my kids worked here, my nieces and nephews all worked here, so it's a family, family business. My nephew's uh, the chef in the kitchen now, Ryan, he's the fourth generation. And not only are the owners the same, but many of the customers are as well. I was born in Germany, and so there was a natural gravitation to a German restaurant, so I went there in 39. Yep. You heard him right. He's been coming here since 1939. And I kept coming there ever since. Well, it's the last vestige of real German food in Ann Arbor, now the Ann Arbor area. And so it's a wonderful step back into the past, as well as excellent food. The restaurant is decked out in lots of items from Germany. Well, we have over 200 beer steins. We have like 20 or 22 cuckoo clocks. Over the years, we just collected them, you know, over the 90 years in business. And customers bring in things, too. They want people to enjoy them. And their food comes from Germany as well. A lot of the recipes came. My grandfather brought it back from, from Schwabia, southern Germany. My grandparents were from Wilhelmsdorf, which is way south. So let's make their house specialty, sauerbraten. We start off with an eye of round beef roast. We have a uh, vinegar brine here, a bunch of vinegar, uh, all right. salt, salt and sugar. And then uh, all we do is we're gonna take these sour brattens, 12 at a time usually. We're gonna take these and marinate them in a cooler for four days okay. to marinate. And what does this do to the meat? It, uh, it does two things, it seasons and tenderizes. After four days of marinating and a four hour stint in the oven, they look like this. We then thinly slice them so they're ready to order. So these are not like something you can just, oh, I'll just toss it in the oven. This it, is it, like, it's a this process. is a process. Yeah, there's a, there's a process behind it. Now we're going to make one of the popular sides that comes with it, Spatzen. So they're basically just German noodles. Yeah, German noodle, little dumpling noodle. We're gonna get our hands wet. We're gonna okay. take a uh, ball of the dough and then use your hands like scissors to cut it off. It's very sticky. We're gonna drop it right in. Just drop it into the top? Yep. The machine extrudes the dough in these long ribbons. And then as we, uh, as the dough drops in, kind of stir. Stir, okay. So uh, just so it doesn't stick on the bottom. It's not long before they're done. It looks good. That's so cool. Then we put the plate together with slices of the sour brought in, the spetsen, and lots of sour cream gravy poured over top. It's served with a side of red cabbage. Wow. Joining us today is Ryan Dunkelberger, the chef at Metzger's. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. We're doing a little restaurant shop talk just a, a second ago, talking about all of the amazing work that you put into this because everything's from scratch. Yep, everything is from scratch. This that's is awesome. a monster plate of food. You can actually order this at the restaurant? Yeah, that's our house plate for two. Oh, um, my God. A, <laughs> yeah, it is for two. A um, little bit of everything, our potato salad, our spots and red cabbage, sauerkraut, and a schnitzel. Um, we. Uh, so tell everyone how much potato salad you make a day, or you uh, sell we, a day. We go through a lot of potato salad. Um, some, it, it varies from day to day. Um, we, we, we sell it to places, and uh, we go through a lot of potato salad. Okay. What's this right here? That's our sour brat, and that's one of our house specialties. Um, that's a slow roasted marinated, uh, uh, marinated beef. That's what you made with Michelle in the piece, that's what right? I made yeah. Michelle, yes. Four days of work go into this plate of food, people. <laughs> Four days of work. Each piece of parsley is carefully curated <laughs> before it leaves the kitchen. <laughs> uh, that's our schnitzel, one of our most popular dishes, also. Um, breaded pork cutlet. Um, we can get that with a 
from a few different sauces you can come on that too if they would like. Okay, and the next with the noodles? Uh, uh, that's our cheese spatzen. There's um, feta sauerkraut, our spatzen, melted Swiss cheese, and uh, deep fried onions. Lovely. And then here? One of our appetizers, um, just a little sausage appetizer for people to do. And then a full uh, slice of beef right yep, there? Yep, that's our prime rib. Um, we sell a lot of prime ribs also. Uh, I we love prime, prime ribs every day. Prime rib with some horseradish. Yeah. Oh, so we fun. grind our own horseradish too. So you know which one this is. He's going for that plate right after the <laughs> after this piece. And what's this, last it, but not least? This is a rolladen. It's a, a thinly sliced beef rolled up with uh, bacon, onions, pickles, mustard. And then slow cooked with the tomato gravy. Let me get let me get this angle so you can see everything there. Beautiful, beautiful. And if I shoot this boot on live TV right now, what do I win? <laughs> well, give you a gift card. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm up to it. You know, that's a lot. It's Friday, but <laughs> not quite in time just yet. So tell us. So now you call it spatzen, this yeah. pasta, but it's really like German noodles. Yeah, it's a you German make from, noodle. Yeah. Okay. Is it is it different from what you would average get like you would normally get? No, um, I mean that's. I mean, there's a difference. Sometimes they're a little bit bigger. Sometimes a little bit smarter, depending on where you are. Okay. Um, Speaking of where you are, where are you located? Uh, we're located um, Ann Arbor Road, um, or Ann Arbor, um, Zeb Road, in West Ann Arbor. Zeb um, Road, just, West just, uh, Ann Arbor, just All west right. of town. Any fun events for Oktoberfest? Um, not nothing specifically for Oktoberfest, but uh, we are celebrating our 90th anniversary. And, uh, 90 years. And, uh, we see some wine there too. I see a wine bottle. You have that as well. Oh yeah, we have lots of German wines, German beers. Um, we're doing a. Oops, sorry, Kevy. A wine dinner this week. This Wednesday, we're doing a wine dinner. Perfect. All right. Well, if you want to try Metzger's, we are giving away 12. $25 gift cards. Yes, yeah, so for your chance to win, go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. We've also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all the places we cover, get suggestions on places to eat out and share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food like we love food, mm -hmm. we'd love to have you join our Dine in the D group on the Facebook page there. That's right, and if you have an idea where Michelle Oliver should go to next for Dine in the D, message her on Facebook at Michelle Oliver Live in the D, and she just might take your suggestion. Should I send her a message about Tanya's Pizza on my birthday? Yes, just, do that. Just to remind everybody again that yeah. that's fast approaching. and I'm Right. It's only like the 25th <laughs> reminder, but we got you, we got you.